Christianity in his face and that I had at a young age is that I would try to ask my pastor these questions. I would try to understand why, you know, why does God create suffering? Why are all these things happening, right? Why do I need to follow these specific commandments? Who, who becomes this authority? What are these answers? And the major question... Channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lulu and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody for giving us uh, first of all for subscribing and for hitting that notification bell, and uh, lastly for uh, uh, giving us reactions with the realest MVP. And if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse, and we do a lot of reaction videos. And just let us know what you want us to react to, and we're gonna do it for you. Like. S up, you get it. And also, we have another channel that is called Funding Jesse 2.0. We're gonna put the link below so that you can go and subscribe to that channel over there. That channel is more of uh, our life, more of you know seeing the other side of us instead of you guys seeing us sitting down here and doing reactions. That one is more fun, more uh, epic, more advanced too. Yes, because it's 2.0. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction and this one right there was suggested by a lot of people and they say that guys please just go react to why I left Christianity. So yeah, so let's let's go and find out why uh, he left Christianity. So without any further ado, let's get it. Welcome to Cody's Corner, a channel for personal and spiritual growth. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know why. Greetings, my name is Vishuddha or Koi. And today we're talking about something I don't really talk about on this channel, if you haven't noticed, and that is Western religion. To be specific, we are going to be speaking briefly on why I left Christianity. Okay, now, religion? before I discovered Buddhism, before I discovered Hinduism and Vedanta, and all these deeper, older, more ancient esoteric practices, and not even esoteric really, uh, very accessible practices, I, I was raised and grew up for the better part of my youth as a Christian, going to church every single Sunday, reading the Bible, things like that. You might see that I don't teach much about Western religion. People ask me, do videos on Islam, do videos on Christianity and Catholicism, and I don't because I don't agree with most of the aspects of Abrahamic religion uh, at all, and that's why I don't want to teach about them or talk about them. Um, this is just my channel and I share what I care about and I don't have much uh, need, I think, to speak about them, besides in a sense like this. So if any of you have read my first book, which is called The Not So Enlightened Youth, you can find it up here. I speak about leaving Christianity at a young age, about 13 or 14, maybe a little later, maybe a little earlier, I forget. But in essence, I grew up Christian. My whole family pretty much is Christian. I'm one of the only ones, if not the only one in my extended family. That means my grandparents on both sides, my parents, um, my siblings to be a, a non-Christian, one that has left the faith, so to speak. I'm the only one. And that's that's normal for a lot of families. For a lot of families, they are very religious. They are raised religious. It's a cultural phenomenon. We stick with the religion of our elders. They teach it to us. We take it as truth, and we follow forward with it. And that's what I did for the first couple of years of my life, um, until you start thinking critically, until about the time I was 13 or 14. And the big problems I had with Christianity and the reason I left it at all and started seeking elsewhere, I guess in science is where I went after Christianity and became quite um, atheistic for a time, is that in, in Abrahamic faith, in a lot of ways, and I didn't know this on an intellectual level um, at the age of 13 or 14, but it's, it's very anti-question. You might think you can ask questions, but in reality, it's very anti-questioning the system, questioning the faith. Vedanta, Buddhism, they want you to question what they're teaching. So Dr. Gautama himself said, don't believe what I'm saying just because I'm saying it. But Abrahamic religion is pretty much the exact opposite. It's saying, look, this book says something, you better believe it or you're going to hell, in a lot of senses. And that to me just never really made sense. I've always been a, a, a kind of a rebel in the mind. I got in trouble a lot at school because I wouldn't shut up, I had questions. I, I would follow rules, but I wanted to understand why things were happening, why I was being told to do certain things, what they wanted from me. And the problem with Christianity in these faiths and that I had at a young age is that I would try to ask my pastor these questions. I would try to understand why, you know, why does God create suffering? Why are all these things happening, right? Why do I need to follow these specific commandments? 
who, who becomes this authority and what are these answers? And the major questions or the major responses I would get to this would be to just have faith, right? Don't worry about questions, just have faith in the teachings, have faith in the books, have faith in the Word of God, and take this book as the Word of God. Don't question that either. And that just never really felt right to me, to just have faith blindly. Even Vedanta says faith is important, but faith should be rooted in empirical understanding, right? Experience, knowledge, knowingness of what you practice. It shouldn't just be blind faith. And a lot of Abrahamic religions are based on blind faith. They are based on the text alone, the commandments alone, that since they exist, we should follow them with no other question in mind. And I think because I wasn't ready to understand the depth of it, I kind of saw and felt like I was trying to be controlled. Now, if we don't become conscious of this, many of us stay with these regressive, in my opinion, religions, and, and they control us, they grip us, they really shelter us from reality and make us over, overcame with fear. They, they, they cover us in fear in a way. And I get this a lot from people on my channel saying, you know, I'm scared to even question this religion because I've been so indoctrinated with the fact that if I do question it, I'm going to hell. And that's one of the things that I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sit with that. You know, how can people be in this space of love and care and commitment uh, when, when it has to do with just it, right? If I, if I want to be something else or search in a certain other place or practice another, another faith or, or ask questions, that I'm doing the wrong thing, right? Why is it wrong for me to ask these questions? It's never wrong to ask questions. And this just didn't ever sit right with me. And at this point, I was kind of losing faith a little bit, not really knowing where to go. But then what really struck the chord of me, what really made me leave the Christian faith more than anything else, at a young age, they had a best, I do have a best friend, still my best friend. Uh, his name is Carlos. And <clears throat> he showed me a video when I was very young, um, by George Carlin, called Religion is Bullshit. Now, I will say institutionalized religion, yes, I think it is in a lot of ways, but I also think that the ancient practices devised by certain religions, more so the Eastern religions, Vedanta, Buddhism, so forth, um, Taoism, those ones aren't, aren't so much bullshit <laughs> at all. But I think he meant more the Abrahamic faiths are BS. And if you watch this video, it's about an eight minute video, I highly suggest you just type in Religion is BS, George Carlin above, um, or you click the link right here, I'll have it pop down. He basically talks about all the major plot holes in these faiths, whether it be Islam, Christianity, or Catholicism, right? If God loves us unendingly, why is there judgments in any form? Shouldn't omnipotence see through our own ignorance due to our program, due to our cultural advantages, due to being raised in a different faith and never even hearing about Christianity, right? Why should a tribesman in Africa go to hell because he never got to discover what Christianity was. In the same sense, why would something so loving, so omnipotent, send us to such an evil place? Why would it even exist? Whereas in Eastern religions, such a place is nonsensical, right? The only hell that there exists is in the mind. And heaven is everything, if we can allow ourselves to perceive it as such. All these questions, you know, believing in something that does not exist that we can't empirically experience or come to know they, they just show how much of christian faith and how much of catholicism on a fundamental level even if we aren't aware of it are just tools to controlling our conscious mind and our perspective of the world in a lot of ways and, and they do so through fear mongering through repetition through beating it into the brains of the youth that you must follow this you must believe this or you will be damned you will be served damnation. And that is something major to fear, and it screws with a lot of people's heads, and it messes people up. And it was starting to mess me up, and it scared me. And that was one of the biggest things. I watched this video, it was eight minutes long, and just the logic and poise and truth and genuine nature of George Carlin, I love George Carlin, uh, in this video really opened my eyes to where maybe what I'm thinking about is wrong, maybe what I'm learning about is wrong. Um, and then I started to Google, I started to do my own research uh, as I got a little older and I started to see, you're right, there are thousands, thousands, literally, of contradictions and even this holy book, even the Bible, contradictions are everywhere. Well, why would the word of the divine be contradictory? I mean, in, in, other, ancient, in other ancient scripts, such as the Vedas and such, there aren't really any contradictions. It's just talking about the way of nature, not the way of an acclaimed deity in, in a dualistic perspective is creating and controlling it's much more inclusive of the whole. 
And so all these things combine about the Christian faith, all these faults, all these controlling mechanisms, all these areas of fear-mongering and, and, and dumbing us down and asking us to just believe and not to ask really just pushed me away. And I, I don't remember what the exact age was, but I, I started to just refuse to go to church and really to do a lot more research. And I fell into science, which eventually led into atheism, which I'm glad I've also gotten out of. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing a video on my experiences in a, they, with atheism or being atheistic, comment those below. But yeah, I, I, just, I just got out of that and I'm glad I did because it opened my mind up to a way that I could actually start thinking, wow, what if there are other things out there? What if there's other potential to this reality and I don't have to feel guilty about thinking about it or even following or practicing it? Losing that fear is the most liberating feeling ever and Western religions really instill a lot of fear into us. Uh, with the idea that if we don't follow it, we will be sent to hell. With the, again, the idea of the realms of heaven and hell. Um, it's always a controversial thing, but I'm very, very glad I got out of that system of thinking and out of that church. Uh, <laughs> that's just my story with how I left Christianity at a young age. So if you have any questions about it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave those down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Not wrong. Wow. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Like I say, everything we watch is always interesting. Yeah. People have their own reasons for leaving certain religions. That's true. I'm just trying to process everything right now. What do you think? What I think? I mean, he's trying to explain to us on how he left Christianity and how it didn't actually fit with his, uh, with his um, way, probably way of living or way of, I don't know, probably something like that because he had a lot of questions. So every time he goes to the pastor or maybe the person in charge in uh, Christianity, all like the pastor would say have faith have faith you get it i mean it's it's something that it's going to make you think that why is it that i'm not getting the answers you get it and when i ask questions i'm but just having faith is not a bad thing yeah having faith is not a bad thing but there's some questions that at least you need an answer you get it like for my christian uh, no uh, yeah, I'll probably you can ask why am I Christian? You can ask I'm just why. I'm trying to think of some of the questions he was asking. Maybe he was asking or deep was questions asking... like, deep questions like, uh, if Christianity, uh, if Christianity is a, is a religion of peace, why is it that, uh, um, what do you call this? Why is it that in the Bible, like, there's a lot of killings in there? Why is it that in the Bible, they they teach uh, they teach you know? more more fear than how many books do you know? I'm just saying, probably those are the questions that he was asking. Like, but why is it that it, it oppresses women in the Bible so much than uplifting women? You get it? Maybe he was asking that. Uplifting women out there, even just normal textbooks. Yeah, yeah of course. Women. Yeah. Probably maybe they borrowed a leaf from such kind of religious book. I feel like in the Asian things were not like that. Probably we were even equal because we were worshipping the women out there to get it. Women who are the most precious thing. Nowadays it's just you get it. But anyway I like the point that you brought up saying uh, in this other thing that is for what if um, Hinduism and Buddhism. He follows both of them? Yeah it's some kind Buddhism. of Buddhism. I think it was Buddhism. Buddhism. Buddhism yeah. I like the fact that he said it allowed him to ask questions. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. Good for him for finding peace in this religion. At the end of the day, I always say, if you want to learn, ask questions. Questions. They just can't tell you, go jump over that thing and you jump. You have to ask why am I jumping? You can't just follow blindly. You can't follow blindly. You have to ask a question. Where am I? Where are we going? You get it. <laughs> Someone comes and tells yeah. me, let's go. Go? Where? Tell me, where are we going? Is it a good place? Is it a bad place? After knowing that, the that's when. Is wrong. Yeah. What's the purpose of me to going there when you start looking into those factors that's when you can come up with a conclusion that you know what no i don't want to call that again it. it's there's a lot of there's a lot of 
I mean, how, what do you want to say? I want to say you also spoke about fear. Yes, fear. Um, religion should be something that we're comfortable with. True. Comfortable in the sense that when I feel down, when I feel this, that, when I feel like I need answers, I should bounce back on my religion, yes? Mm -hmm. But then the point of where you say you have to live in fear because your belief says or whatever no, you it believe. says like if you, if, you, if you do this, you're going to go to hell. Yeah, if you, you kill someone, you're going to hell. Go to hell. If you because do people don't believe in Christianity, we should dislike them. Because yeah. you just know. Because because you're not uh because you're not a christian i don't think religion like should be like that because i feel like religion should focus on if it's christianity yeah you just be christian, be christian don't put someone love. down to make christianity look good focus on love 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 everybody but be in christian faith. whatever i feel like everyone should have faith there's nothing wrong with having faith having faith is not bad but when you ask a question then someone tells you have faith just it like when you go to the ATM, you're going That's to the ATM. You're asking questions like mm -hmm. this, you said no. Even though we're saying um, okay. we should question so that we learn, there's certain things in life that you can't question. It depends, Ming Ming. Of course, you're not going to question your mom or your dad. But if your mom tells you, go and jump into that ocean over there, are you going to say, okay, mom, let me go and jump? Uh, faith is a good thing. Uh, everybody, everybody is subjected to our faith, and each and every religion, I think, it teaches, it teaches faith. Get it? I mean, it's important to our faith. I had a question, though. I was trying to ask you, um, what do you think existed before these these people conquered our states? They what conquered people? Africa, whoever conquered it. They conquered Africa. They conquered the Middle East, Asia, whatever the place is. They conquered, in fact, the entire world. Do you think religion existed then? Okay, this is how I can put it. As, 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 as the way this guy was putting all these things together, he was saying Western religion, yeah? Abrahamic religion. He does not conform to that anymore. He conforms to the, to the Buddhism, which was an ancient... Uh, it was more tradition. Yeah, it was more tradition, and it's more of knowing and not believing, you get it? It's more of, yeah, knowing and not believing. Now, down the line and years, okay, back in those days, we had our own uh, belief system. But now, uh, as you say, these people who came to, to conquer us, they, they, they brought us uh, a set of, 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 of religion or something like that for us to believe and have faith in it. But for me, I feel like back in those days, it was just... I don't think we had, there was a religion, but it was a different type of a religion, you get it, where we were spiritual, I mean, we, we knew what to do, uh, what to, I mean, if you want the rains to come down, we, we know how to, to chant and make the rains come down, we, we, we respected the, the people on this earth, I mean, there was what we, we, what we call the natural laws, you get it, like the laws of my art natural laws like the law of the, the the universe you get it i mean respect of the animals respect all this type you get it but since the western religion came in things are changing and now we're in, in people most of people live in fear because you think that if i if i if i question uh, my my pastor i'm gonna go to hell but if I question this and that, I'm going to go to hell. But anyway, this, these are just things that, that are here now. We have to deal with them. We have to respect them too. Because we, we don't have all the answers. Oh, that's true. That's another yeah. thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, we can't really develop without experiencing certain things in life. Yeah, true. Because I think he spoke about that. Yeah. So imagine if you were born in Zambia. And just everything, everything you've done in Zambia, but yet you feel like you've got the, work, the power to judge how people live in Europe. Yeah, true, true, true. That's that's another thing, right? So people should travel to experience other cultures, other religions, other... Whatever the case is, I mean, you don't have to travel to experience religion. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very true. Just because you're Zambian or you're African or you're whatever... Person you are, don't ever look down upon other people. You get it? I mean, 
these other people they have their own different ways of living and probably you understand someone, yeah you should experience that they have a different set of understanding so if you travel you expand your mind and you become even more uh open more, minded. more open-minded and you understand how people live out there so you learn more and, you be, and also you have wisdom wisdom comes with it too so guys uh if you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video here uh, on why I left Christianity. I think we've just tackled some few things. If you feel like it's something you need to uh, talk about, just let us know in the comment section below and we will be willing to look at it. By the way guys, we read all the comments and we actually uh, like and love the comments at the same time. And uh, sometimes we reply, sometimes we don't reply because uh, people have their own opinions and, 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 and whatnot. But feel free to just write down something, we'll be able to, to you know, read and la learn and something like that. And also, if you want to uh, know much about us, just make sure to go on our social media. We have our own joint uh, page which is called Funny and JC. You can go there and check out what we do. And another thing too, I have my own personal page on Instagram, she has a personal page on Instagram, we do different type of things, you can also go and check it out there. I mean, we are people who are out here to, to educate, to learn, find peace, and then, you know what, like, just, just try to live the life of, 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 of righteousness, exactly. So, uh, yeah. And the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better better content and last but not the least we're going to see you in the next video and peace out